All right, you're here with Modmaster J, and today we're going to go over the top 25 tweaks for the iPad 2. And all these tweaks work together great. Um, I've had no problems with them. I've been over quite a few. Uh, I went through quite a few tweaks. Uh, a lot don't work together with each other, or some of them just look like don't look good at all. Um, one example, barrel. Um, it works good up until you uh, turn it into landscape and then once you go from landscape to back to normal it, uh, it kind of messes up the screen. You have to respring to uh, get it back to normal. That's one of the problems I had uh, amongst other ones. Um, so these are the top 25 <coughs> that all work together and uh, I will have a list um, of all the sources for, to add Dissidia and um, all the packages will be listed in the description below. So here we go. Okay, let's go here. Number one is AFC to ADD. And what this allows you to do after you install it is uh, there's a program called iFunbox and you can hook it up to your PC or Mac, um, uh, connect your device, and uh, you can get to your root files from there. And uh, you can inst um, you can move your IPAs right into Installius from there, uh, from your PC or Mac. So that's AFC to ADD. Okay, number two is Installius 4. And you're going to want to get it from the Insanely I repo. Um, because this uh, in particular one comes with um, the Haculus resources that you need. So just make sure you get it from Insanely I. And... Um, it's installed ES4 and uh, it works great. It's the famous one, you search games, all your apps you can get from here. And uh, that's installed ES4. So that one works great. Now when you install install ES4, um, it also installs um, a bunch of other stuff that's required as well as App Sync for iOS 5, um, which uh, allows you to uh, sync your, um, with iTunes. So um, App Sync will get installed with this when you install it. Okay, number three is Masks. And what this allows you to do is change your um, icons completely. You can change your uh, shape your background and shape your lock screen background as well. Uh, you just have to go into your settings, then into masks, and you can enable the masks. And in here, I'm just going to briefly go over these, and uh, so you can set your mask to custom or default. So there's no custom ones. I haven't downloaded any yet. You can get them from Cydia. So I'll go to the default ones. Um, yeah, we'll go to make all the uh, icons apples. So just choose the mask, go back, hit home, and they will all turn to apples. Um, you can do the same with the background and everything, um, but uh, yeah. So that's masks, and that's what that does. Great tweak to have. All right, moving on to number four here, Sleep FX. And uh, what that does is uh, just gives you special effects when you're uh, when you're closing the screen when you're going into sleep, and um, that's it. Sleep FX. Okay, number five here is unlock FX, and uh, what that does is it just gives you a special animation when you unlock your device. So let's just go ahead and uh, we're gonna unlock the device here. Mine zooms in, so yeah, that's um, unlock FX, and that's what it does. Okay, number six is Icon Renamer, and uh, that one's pretty straightforward. What it does is that you can rename um, your your apps here right on your springboard. Um, all you do is just uh, hold down the one until they wiggle, and then once they're wiggling, just tap the icon again. And you can rename your con. Well, that's my contacts, so I clicked on contacts, so I can rename contacts to whatever I want, and uh, then just hit apply, and it will apply. So that um, that is icon renamer. 
Number seven is InfiniDoc. And uh, what that primarily does is you can set the amount of icons that you want in your dock and um, their infinity. So you have infinity uh, icons in your dock. And that's InfiniDoc. All right, number eight is Overflow. And this one runs really smoothly with InfiniDoc. Um, I set it to seven icons across. I find that's the, the nicest to use with it. But uh, what it does is it just changes your dock style to uh, have a nice flow to it. Um, so it's really nice, called Overflow and goes great with InfiniDoc. Okay, number nine is Motion. And uh, what that does is it just makes your icons do a bunch of funny things on your springboard. So um, as you'll see here in a sec, my icon should start uh, moving around. There it goes there, zooms in. They twist around, they start doing funny things, um, and that's called motion. Really neat little tweak. All right, number 10 is colored knob, and what that does is it changes your lock screen slider, uh, the color of the knob there, uh, for when you slide over. Um, you can't see it on mine right now, um, because I have something else enabled, um, which we'll go over after, it's lock sliders. Um, but if I choose to disable lock sliders, um, I will see the regular one and uh, it will, I will have the option to uh, color the knob at that time. So it's installed. It's called Colored Knob. Alright, number 11 here, lock sliders. And uh, that's the one I was just saying that's going to hide the colored knob. And uh, what that is, is on your lock screen, you can have four different actions now. So I can slide over to unlock, I can slide this over to go to my installius. Um, I have Asphalt 6 set there, and uh, Modern War there, just uh, two games down at the bottom. So I could just slide those, oops, slide those all over, and um, open them up straight from my lock screen. So that one there is called Lock Sliders. Okay, so number 12 here is Calendar for Notification Center, and that's pretty straightforward. Uh, just pull down, and it uh, gives you the calendar in your Notification Center. Okay, number 13 is We Kill Background for Notification Center, and again, that's just in your Notifications. You just change it in your settings and add it to it, and then you can just tap to close all the apps. Um, that are running in your background uh, that are in here. So now I have none. So that's We Kill Background. All right, number 14 here is Battery Center, and that's another notification tweak. And it just uh, gives you uh, your charge on and a little battery there in your notifications uh, in your notification center. So it's a pretty nice little sweet up to have or sweet tweak. So, uh, and it works great with it, so I put it in there. Battery center. Alright, tweak number 15, Super Music. And what this does is it puts um, a new music uh, tweak on your lock screen, so you just double tap the home button. And um, now, I mean, on, on the iPad it's a little funny. It doesn't come up like it does on the iPhone or, or the iPod Touch. Um, but it does come up still. You still have controls of it here. Um, your play button, your stop, your volume. It's all here on your lock screen now. So that one is um, super music. All right, number 16 here is fire break. And this is a, um, a camera tweak. And it just adds panorama to your camera. So if I go into my camera, I go into options. I now have a panorama option in my uh, camera. Okay, number 17 is Favorite Contacts for Notification Center. And what that is is another Notification Center tweak. And um, uh, all the friends that you put into your, uh, in, from your contacts and your favorites will show up here. Um, so you'll have a list of all your favorite contacts here. Um, again, this um, I think this was made for the iPhone, 
but it still sort of works for um, the iPad 2. Um, it just leaves off a little bit there, um, but it works still, and uh, you can get your contacts right from your notification center. So, um, yeah, that one's a cool tweak to have. Okay, so number 18 here is Blurred NC Background, and what that does is it just blurs out the background when you bring down your notification center. It blurs out whatever's behind it. Blurred NC background. Okay, number 19 is Infini Folders, and that's pretty straightforward. It gives you infinity um, icons or infinity apps in uh, all your folders. So you can put as many as you want in there. So that's Infini Folders. All right, number 20 is Retina Pad for the iPad 2. And what it does is um, it uh, enables Retina Display for the iPhone apps running on the iPad. So this is uh, iPad only. Um, so that's what that does. It just enables the Retina Display for iPhone apps um, on this uh, iPad 2. Retina Pad. All right, number 21 here is Full Force. And uh, what Full Force does is it allows you to uh, go into the settings and force selected applications to show in full screen mode uh, on your iPad. So uh, that's Full Force. Okay, number 22 is Grid Lock. And what that allows you to do is just move your icons um, anywhere you want on the device or on your springboard. Just uh, you can kind of move them wherever you're not restricted to where uh, they organize them for you. So that is gridlock. Um, the only downside to this is when you do, uh, when those icons pop up that I was talking about, it sort of rearranges them and you got to rearrange the icons back when that happens. But uh, that's about the only downside. So if that gets annoying, if for some reason uh, that happens too much, um, just uh, uh, uninstall gridlock um, if it gets annoying but um, that is gridlock all right number 23 is ProTube HD that's basically your YouTube um, but in uh, in HD it's a uh, it's 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 a, it's a different uh, YouTube uh, app and um, it's a lot nicer much more cleaner uh, and more professional so uh, that's called ProTube HD. All right, coming in at number four is Switcher Cleaner. And basically what that does is in your multitasking bar, it'll uh, automatically uh, bring up the icon to close it for you. So you don't have to hold the home button. And it will automatically close apps that are not running in your background. Um, it'll automatically close those. So that's Switcher Cleaner. It's a cool, neat little tweak. Okay, coming in at number 25, last, and I'm sure not the least, there will be more, um, but for this video it is the last one, uh, so Winterboard, and that what that does is it custom changes uh, everything you want, um, it's custom theming uh, for your iP iPad or iDevice. Um, so I'll just give you an example, when I close or open it, my sound sounds like the Wii. So I change that in sounds. You can change sounds, icons, everything. Um, so that's Winterboard. Uh, just a side note, when you do change, um, sometimes when you're changing the tweaks or the settings, you'll have these extra icons pop up um, on your springboard. So all you're going to want to do to get rid of those is just uh, respring your device and those will go away. That's it, they're gone. Perfect. So just a side note. 
Okay, so that's it. That's my top 25 for the iPad 2. And uh, please subscribe and like to this video. And make sure you visit my channel, my YouTube channel. And uh, go check out my website uh, for all the, the latest updates and uh, for tweaks and sources. Um, thanks a lot for watching. This is Modmaster J. Out.